Hello, I'm Mr. Spelling. No, I'm not Miss Spelling. And this is my YouTube channel where I teach spelling rules because spelling rules. Now, as always, all my PowerPoint slides are available to download for free. The link is in the description below. And if you can spot the spelling mistake in today's PowerPoint, please write it in the comments. Now, let's get to today's lesson. Today, we are learning how to make plurals with words that end in the letter O. Now, we should know this by now, but plural means more than one. And the example I always give is I have one cow. That is singular. I have two cows. The S on the end makes it plural. So how do we make plurals with base words that end in O's? Well, most of the time we add S just like in radios, solos and commandos. But just to make it tricky, sometimes we add ES, like in heroes, echoes, and dominoes. And the question we have to ask is, how do we know if we add S or ES? And now I'm going to go through a few guidelines, which might give you hints about do we add an S or an ES? And at the end, of course, I'm going to sum up with our spelling rule in rap form. So, the first guideline you need to know is if a word ends vowel O, add S. Just like in the words radios and studios. The next guideline is for most foreign words, just add an S. For example, the word kimonos, which comes from Japan, just add an S. And Picasso's, more than one of Picasso's paintings, it's a foreign name, so we just add S. The next guideline is for shortened words. And if the word has been shortened, just add S. For example, we have the word photograph. We shorten it down to photo. And because it's shortened, we just add an S to make photos. And we have the word kilogram, which we shorten to kilo. And because kilo's already been shortened, we just add the S to make it kilos. And when do we add ES? Well, for words that have been in the English language for a long time, we add ES. Now, how are you going to know these words? Well, it's a bit tricky, but I have a list of the most common words where you add ES. And this is one of those spelling rules where sometimes you just need to know what these words are. So here are the words where you always add ES. We have buffaloes, dominoes, potatoes, tomatoes, heroes, vetoes, embargoes, and torpedoes. And sometimes you can add both S and ES to a word and both versions of the word are acceptable. And words in this category include avocados, desperados, ghettos, halos, mangoes, mottos, volcanoes, and zeros. So how are we going to remember all of that information? Well, this is Mr. Spelling's YouTube channel after all, so you know how we're going to remember. You know the spelling rules are going to be in a rhyme. So to sum up, you can learn all those guidelines, but I guess the key takeaway is most of the time, just add S to plurals that end in O, but sometimes add ES, and yes, you might have to learn the words that end in ES. So this is our spelling rule today. Let's say it with me. It goes like this. Here are the things that you need to know when you make a plural with a word that ends in O. Most of the time you add S. Sometimes you add ES. Learn the words so you don't need to guess. And let's do it one time with the music. It goes like this. Here are the things that you need to know when you make a plural that ends in O. Most of the time you add S, sometimes you add ES. Learn the words so you don't need to guess. Here are the words that end in ES. Learn these words so you don't need to guess. Buffaloes, dominoes, potatoes, tomatoes, mosquitoes, torpedoes. Embargoes, vetoes, heroes, echoes, echoes. 
Now we are going to apply our spelling rule to make some plurals. Our first word is zoo. Now zoo, it ends vowel O. So what do we do? We add an S. Or if you're guessing, most of the time you can just add an S. And the plural of zoo is zoos. Our next word is photo. So to make photo plural, I hope you can remember that shortened words just add an S. Or if you couldn't remember that, most of the time you can just add an S and it's okay. And the plural of photo is photos. Our next word is piano. Now to make a plural of piano, we need to know that it's a foreign word. It's actually an Italian word which means soft. So for foreign words we add S and the plural of piano is pianos. I'm feeling hungry because our next word is tomato. Now to make a plural of tomato, it's one of the words that's been in the English language for a long time. It's on the list of words that end in ES. I hope you remember that from earlier in the lesson or from the song. So to make tomato into a plural, just add ES and tomato becomes tomatoes. Our final word is volcano. Now, to make plurals of this word, what are you going to do? Are you going to add S? Are you going to add ES? Well, whatever you picked, you are right, because it's one of the words where both S and ES are acceptable, and volcano becomes either one of these, volcanoes, or volcanoes with an ES. Now is the part in the video where it's your turn to apply the spelling rules. So here I have some base words. Can you make plurals of these words as the music plays? And the words are potato, studio, kimono, duo, and hero. Okay, go. Here are the things that you need to know when you make a plural that ends in O. Most of the time you add S, sometimes you add ES. Learn the words so you don't need to guess. And the answers are, potato becomes potatoes with an ES, it's the same as tomatoes. Studio becomes studios with an S, again it ends vowel O, so just add an S. Kimono, it was one of our examples, it's a foreign word, so just add S. Duo becomes duos, add an S. And hero is one of the words which ends in an ES, so it becomes heroes with an ES. One more time, it is your turn once again. Here are five more words. Can you make plurals of these words as the music plays? You can pause the video if you need more time. And the words are solo, domino, kilo, pro, and zero. Go. Here are the things that you need to know when you make a plural that ends in O. Most of the time you add S. Sometimes you add ES. Learn the words so you don't need to guess. Here are the things that... And the answers are... Solo becomes solos, just with an S. Dominoes is one of our words that's always spelt with an ES. Kilo is a shortened word, so it becomes kilos. Pro is a shortened word, so it becomes pros. And zero is one of the words where both versions are actually acceptable. So you can give yourself a tick either way because it becomes zeros or zeros with an S or ES. Thank you for watching my video. I'm Mr. Spelling. Subscribe to my channel for more spelling rules taught with awesome rap songs. Cheers. Here are the things that you need to know when you make a plural that ends in O. Most of the time you add S. Sometimes you add ES. Learn the words so you don't need to guess. Here are the words that end in ES. Learn these words so you don't need to guess. Buffaloes, dominoes, potatoes.